What's up everyone? It's your boy Norman Red 89 here bringing you another video and as you can tell by my gear we are here to talk about episode 3 of the Obi-Wan series currently on Disney Plus. That's where you can go watch it and we're going to be getting down into spoilers. We're not wasting any time. We're going to be talking some spoilers and what happened in this episode so if you haven't seen it you need to go run out and watch it and then come back so we can talk about it. Now let's get into this video. Roll it! Episode 3 is quite the banger for sure in this Obi-Wan series. They waste no time. Deborah Chow, the director, and the writers and all that stuff for this third episode, they waste no time in diving right into the series and sending Obi-Wan into some threatening situations like sitting on like a transport with a bunch of Imperial officers or like stormtroopers and then Leia's sitting right next to him. They have to kind of like make up the story as to why they're there on the planet and stuff and pretend that they're farmers. Very, very tense situation that I think Obi-Wan handles very well and our young actress, she does fabulous as well. Also, they waste no time at all introducing Darth Vader into this franchise and we get it right away, played by Hayden Christensen and it's like, oh, it's menacing. The look and the style and the way he looks, oh man, like the the like the like suit that lights up and like the red and green, like the lights on his suit and everything and just the way the design, the helmet, everything, the lighting for him, oh, they make Darth Vader look so menacing in the scenes or in the scenes that he's in in this episode. And it's kind of crazy wild that like we get right into this episode right away and as Obi-Wan and Leia are in hiding now on this planet and they're trying to find a way off and safely off to get her back home. Vader and them find out about them because they're sending out Imperial probe droids and one of the Imperial probe droids actually comes across Obi-Wan and Leia. So that's how they end up finding out that they're on this mining planet and Vader wastes no time at all. He goes out for him and he's going to hunt him because he's been looking for Obi-Wan for a very, very long time. And then we get some pretty cool stuff. Like I like the fact that Obi-Wan and Leia end up meeting an Imperial officer that's in disguise and she actually runs kind of like almost like an underground railroad for Jedi in hiding and like transporting them off planet and safely and all this kind of stuff. So that's what's kind of cool. And it's like hidden in the back of this like mechanical like repair shop for droids and stuff. So it's got all these cool little tidbits around it. And the, this show for, for real is like just right up my alley. I'm freaking loving it because it's making Ewan, McGregor, o, Ewan McGregor's Obi-Wan such a much more deep character and three-dimensional character. And Obi-Wan's one of my favorites. Like that scene that he has when he's talking to Leia about, you know, her mother and stuff. And like you can just see how Ewan McGregor is playing and eating the scenery up. Even though he's not saying things, he's using his facial mannerisms to portray the feelings inside and Leia because she has like that force. And it's kind of like when you're young, you're able to use the force like willingly, but unwillingly at the same time. And she could kind of read Ewan McGregor's Obi-Wan like really well. And I like that factor of the show. Then we get probably one of the best, most haunting scenes. And that's when Vader gets to the town he does come to this mining planet and when he gets to that town and you see the Inquisitors all lined up and the and the stormtroopers and like Vader's just making his way through the town and like freaking force choking people and everything. It's kind of almost like a Rogue One sequence, but it's all force stuff. No lightsabers, like he's just cracking necks, force choking people out of windows. Like you're like, damn, like he he's wasting no time at all. He's down for business and he's looking for Obi-Wan and he really wants revenge. And it's not like that quick death kind of revenge like he wants slow revenge he wants to torture obi-wan and do exactly what he did to him you know kind of thing so it's like you can feel the intensity and anger and aggression that vader is carrying with him and i think that's kind of what kept him if you think about it that's kind of what kept vader like hayden christensen's vader on the dark side anakin is probably that hate and that anger that he has for obi-wan is really what kept him there if it wasn't for that he probably would have been more easily swayed to going back to the light side. And then we also come down to our duel. They actually do meet in this episode and I was kind of waiting and hoping that they wouldn't do it, but then they did. And then I was like, damn, it actually came out pretty cool where it's like showing Vader 
fight Obi-Wan, and you can definitely tell Obi-Wan's, like, you know, tapered back. He hasn't really practiced his skills in years, and Vader is more home-tuned, and he's more Anakin style when he's fighting in this one. is much more like the power strikes and, like, the typical Vader stuff, not the, you know, flashy-type Anakin Skywalker stuff that we're used to from, like, Attack of the Clones and Re Revenge of the Sith and all that stuff. So it's much more Vader style, and I like that factor, too. And it's kind of cool, like I said, the lighting of that scene with the blue and the red and the lightsaber and they're kind of going through these like sand dune like hill things going through each other you can see the lights it's like lighting on their faces it looks very well like Deborah Chow is great at directing these episodes and keeping you enthralled with the intenseness and the emotion of the episodes this is probably this is probably my favorite episode so far it could have done with a little bit more just more weight to it and I feel like when Vader met Obi-Wan and like the dialogue, I wasn't too keen on the dialogue between them. But the, the scene was good and well lit. And I like the intenseness and the fire and what happens between him and Obi-Wan. But I don't think the dialogue really matched that intensity. And that's one thing I wish could be a little bit better in this show is I feel like the writing isn't as great as it is for some of the other shows. I'm liking the vibe and I love the story and I'm enthralled because I love Obi-Wan and it's adding so much more to his character. But I think the show could do with a little bit better writing. That's probably one of my main like nitpicks. But so far, I think episode three is my favorite. This one's going to get an 8 out of 10. This is a very solid episode. Or, no, actually, probably like an 8.5, 8 out of 10. It's really close to that 9 out of 10. You know, I wasn't like on off of my chair, like cheering, freaking out. But it was an episode that had me like, oh, like th this is going to get dirty and down and gritty really quick. And they're wasting no time at all because I was worried about the episode length being only six episodes that we're going to kind of feel like it's a cliffhanger or we're going to be like, oh, well, we could have spent more time with that or did that or not. You know, no, they're wasting no time. They're diving right into the story. But thanks for sticking around with me all for this review of episode three of the Obi-Wan series. Let me know in the comments section what you think of this episode and how you are feeling with the show so far. Because we are literally, I think, halfway through the show already. So next Wednesday, episode four will be dropping and we're going to see what happens next. So let me know how you're feeling about the show so far. Are you on board? Is this one of your favorites? Can't wait for episode four. Are you kind of like waiting for it to build up and just still waiting for them to grab you? I would love to hear from all of you. And don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned to the channel. And have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.